Hi, in this video I want to explain what is the variable number of tandem repeats is and for this explanation let me draw a chromosome and this is going to be centromere and as you know all the chromosomes in our somatic cells are present uh, in two copies one we get uh, from the dead side and another one from the mom side and these two chromosomes are homologous and we uh, have 23 pairs of chromosomes so uh, for example I will use uh, chromosome number one and and let's say if we use restriction enzyme at the special place of our interest where a uh, variable number of tandem repeats present we make a cut of the fragment and this cut may contain a variable number of the tandem repeats inside let's say uh, just for our example it would be repeated three times like uh, CTG nucleotide that repeated uh, it's called a trinucleotide and it would be flanked with nucleotide that is not variable that is sites for restriction enzyme and uh, the homologous chromosome that is we got from the mom we we have uh, same um, fragment but uh, probably inside we will have different copy number of the same trinucleotide CTG that is repeated four times in this example and our flanking uh, sequence would be the same like in first example and because it would be invariable and uh, where restriction enzyme cut the DNA so as you see in this uh, example uh, we getting two fragments of DNA that is different in its size because different number of uh, repeats of the trinucleotide so this uh, called uh, tandem repeats and we can use such um, information to identify people for number of reasons starting from the forensic purposes or it can be used in some disasters when only fragments are present and we have to identify people from Vietnam era so whenever we need such information we have to make sure that uh, we'll get some unique uh, pattern so we don't use uh, only two chromosomes but we are using up to uh, 13 chromosomes for such uh, identification and uh, why uh, this for example for this uh, particular place on the DNA we can get two different uh, um, fragments uh, just because uh, usually it's not inside the gene so uh, such a fragment or its variant with different number of repeats won't affect uh, health because this is usually uh, in the such a place where it's uh, not coding for any protein or it can be present in the intron that would be uh, later cut away so um, such sites uh, can be used for our analysis and if we run a gel we can use to load such DNA fragments for example we load 
for the uh, chromosome number one. We can load for chromosome number two, three, four. So if we have um, DNA that is different in size, we can expect that uh, we will get them separated while running the gel. For example, if we get this sequence from the dead side, we can expect that when we run a gel, our two fragments would separate and the fragment that is longer would travel a shorter distance and the fragment that is smaller would be able to travel a longer distance say this can be somewhere here and uh, the same idea applied to all the rest of the chromosomes so we can get uh, say unique uh, pattern for each uh, chromosome and such uh, such pattern is unique for each person just like uh, fingerprints and it's also called uh, DNA fingerprinting and about 30 years ago uh, FBI started a special project uh, that is called Combined DNA Index System that uh, this system have a uh, DNA that was analyzed in the way that I described previously and uh, whenever any new crime happens where there is a biological uh, material so this uh, material can be analyzed and compared with uh, whatever FBI have in its database so they have all information stored in database and branches of FBI gather information and transfer it to the centralized uh, database and also they uh, can get results from the central database compare those and may use it as evidence so on this, uh, in this system, all the analysis includes uh, certain sites on uh, certain chromosomes. Uh, but if you count uh, sites here, you will find that there is 15 sites. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And uh, those it's called um, 13 codes. But this last two chromosomes, that is X and Y chromosome, and they use it just for uh, sex determination. So these two chromosomes are very different in size. Uh, still, they are homologous. There are certain uh, fragments on both uh, chromosomes that is homologous um, uh, that allows them to pair during uh, meiosis and um, one site for the protein amylogenin is analyzed because uh, X chromosome have a deletion in the uh, intron number one it's uh, six uh, nucleotides shorter than um, its uh, version in Y chromosome so whenever we have a uh, male we expect to have a two bands for the male and whenever we have uh, two uh, X chromosomes that mean we will have only one band here so this is just a brief explanation how combined DNA index system works and what is a variable number of tandem repeats uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye